my name is Micah. Um, at the end, they wanted my phone number and email address and stuff, so I, this is my phone number and email address. Um, you can, um, and this is the website that I like the best. I have to start with a disclosure because um, my handout comes from Jenny at southernsavers.com. I went to one of her couponing workshops and I asked her if I could use her information for um, church events and she said as long as I'm not charging for it I can so I'm using it so this is not my handout I didn't go through the time to create this I, I made one and paraphrased it for for the smaller handout that I thought they were going to do but I think everybody's going to want the bigger one so this is from Jenny's website it's not it's not Micah's this is from southernsavers.com and she also will have she has videos and all kinds of stuff to help walk you through it um, if a 45 minute class isn't going to cover it for you. Um, but the way that I start out, the where I get most of my coupons is from the Sunday paper. Um, this is tomorrow's paper. I bought it on my way here. I buy four Sunday papers every week. Um, well, every week I remember. I forgot the last two weeks. So when I forget, or um, if there's a coupon that I really want, I go to another website. I go to, um, let's see, coupon clippers com, And I'll actually I'll buy the individual coupons um, that I want. And I pay like 8 to 12 cents for a coupon. And then I pay the cost of a stamp to have it shipped. But they come, they're already cut out. And they show up in the mail. It usually takes like two days. Which, I like not having to cut my coupons. That saves you a lot of time when you're not the one cutting it. And so, I don't, you know, if there's things like, they had a, they had a coupon for 50 cents off of three Totino's pizzas, you know. And, um... Publix and Kroger, they both double it. So when the pizza's on sale for a dollar, then I'm going to save, save 33 cents off of each of them. So for 66 cents, I get my Totino's pizzas. And so I bought a few of those because my family, everybody eats one Totino's pizza. So I have to buy them at five at a time, you know. So I just went ahead and bought five of the coupons so that we could have Totino's pizzas three times. But, um, so if there's a coupon that I really like, the other coupons I really love are when they have like the cans of the chicken and they'll do a coupon for 50 cents off of one or 50 cents off of two. I'll pick up a bunch of those. Um, these things right here, they're, they're just these yakisoba noodles, but um, they're like 79 cents at Publix. And I buy a coupon, like, they have a coupon for 50 cents off of one, but Publix doubles all my coupons that are 50 cents or less. So they pay me 21 cents to buy these noodles. So I'll pick up a bunch of those coupons as well when I'm like looking for coupons. Um, or sometimes there's really good cereal coupons, like when school starts, sometimes they'll do the dollar off one box. Or like the oatmeal squares. You guys eating those Quaker oatmeal squares? I love those. Those are one of my favorite breakfast cereals. They had a coupon for a dollar off a box. Last week they were on sale. Buy one, get one free. So a box of that cost me a dollar. It was a dollar a box. And so I was really excited about that. Um, but they didn't have all of the kind I wanted. So I had to go to customer service and get a rain check, which will let me buy four boxes later on. I just need to do it before my coupon expires. So it goes for up to 30 days, your rain check lasts. So anytime there's something on sale that you want that um, it didn't, they didn't have, go to customer service, get your rain check. I am an advocate of shopping at Publix. I love Publix. They have, um, in my opinion, the best coupon policy, and they have a store close to me. I have to drive about a half hour to get to Kroger or to a Food Lion, um, but... But those two also have good coupon policies, but um, what happens is at Publix, anytime you have a coupon that is um, 50 cents, okay, so like right here, 
I've got my coupon that says 50 cents off of any one renews it crystal elements or air refreshing. So anytime it's 50 cents or less, Publix is going to double that coupon for you. So it's really a dollar off of that product. Um, yes, ma'am. Do you ask them to do that at the register? No, automatically does it at the register. If you notice that something didn't get doubled, you can ask them about it. And um, a lot of the times they can override it. But there's some coupons that say do not double. And it's just going to depend on your store about whether or not they're going to be willing to double that. Because it's a store thing. It's not a manufacturer thing. So it's up to the store's discretion. But as long as it doesn't say do not double, um, or even you can check right here, this first number is a 5. If that first number is a 9, then the computer won't automatically double that. Um, down on your barcode. But, um, so they'll double your coupons at Publix. Then Publix has these, they're in their store. You don't have to get them special. But these are their store coupons. They also have um, a magazine called Family Wise that you want to sign up on their website and get the Family Wise mag magazine mailed to your house because it comes with a sheet of coupons in it every month. And those that's the, one of the few places where you can sometimes get produce coupons or be like a dollar off any meat purchase or, you know, they, got, they have things that you absolutely have to buy that you don't usually have a coupon for. So they've got their store coupons, and then there are competitor coupons that you can, that Publix will accept. Depends on your Publix store as to which competitors they're going to accept. Um, some of them will accept Target coupons. Target has a website where you can print out coupons. Some of them are going to accept Food Lion coupons. Food Lion has online coupons that you can print as well. Um, most of them will accept your Kroger coupons. If you live close enough to a Kroger, you want to make sure that you're signed up to get the Kroger home mailer coming to your house. Yes. So are you saying, are you saying like, say Kroger has spaghetti sauce on sale for a dollar, uh -huh. is and it's say it's ragu. So if you're at Publix, you can show them the Kroger's ad. No, or is that they different? don't match an ad. Okay. An ad is different. What I'm saying is, if there is, <coughs> oh, I'm trying to, I was going to find. There's, okay, this right here is a Target coupon, right? It says Target coupon right here. It doesn't say manufacturer coupon. It's a store coupon for another store. Mm -hmm. But if, okay, this is Charmin. For so another Target. If, yeah, this is, this is a Target coupon. If my Publix accepts Target coupons, then I can use this dollar off Charmin coupon with, most of the time, a Publix Charmin coupon with a manufacturer coupon all on the same item. Mm. And how do you know no. if your Publix does that? You ask a customer service desk. They will always, if, it's, if they accept a competitor coupon, they'll always accept a competitor coupon with a manufacturer coupon. But some of the stores put the Publix coupon in the same category as the competitor coupon. Okay, so my Publix accepts, um, last time I checked, they accepted Target coupons and Walgreens coupons because that's who they were right next to. Um, they've changed most of the stores where it's stores within a X mile radius they're going to accept. So you just ask at customer service, you say, which competitor coupons do you accept? Because like Walgreens, every month they put out a little coupon booklet of coupons and they have coupons in their ad every week. So you can use those in conjunction with your manufacturer coupons. Um, they won't price match, so it'll depend on your store, because a lot of the Walgreens in-ad coupons will say, you know, tomato sauce, 45 cents, and that's the price of it. Sometimes you can get Publix to do that, and sometimes you can't. But if it's 50 cents off of Dawn, they'll, you know, they will take those kind of coupons. They Publix has pretty much phased out accepting um, Kroger and stores like that. Well, a lot of times we'll do $5 off a $25 purchase, and Publix has stopped accepting those kind of coupons. When I first started, they did, and that was 
Is our controversy over the um, internet coupons? Some stores, not some stores don't accept the internet coupons, and some stores do. Most of your internet coupons are going to be that do not double. They're going to say that on there. And so you want to check with your store about whether they accept the internet coupons. The reason that they're not is because it is illegal to photocopy any coupons, but there are lots of people who will still photocopy them. And so that each coupon has an individual code on it, so if the cashier is looking at it, they'll be able to catch that it's been photocopied because it will have the exact same code. Mm -hmm. But um, a lot of times they'll shop at different times with it in there. So they, have, they are ruining it, and a lot of times there's some stores that will only accept internet coupons that are in color because they figure you're not, you know, a color copy looks different than a color printer. And so we so can print it, a coupon and use it, but we cannot make a copy of it. You cannot make a coupon, a copy of your coupon. <coughs> yeah, of any coupon. It's illegal to make a copy of a coupon. So we can print it and use it. You can print it and use it. But we can't make a copy. You cannot make a copy to use it again. Um, usually the internet will allow you to use, to print two of the same coupon, but no more than that. So there's, um, there's a site, couponmom.com. She has a lot of, you can go there and get links to a lot of the printable coupons. Yes? I always had a hard time when I went online to try to do the coupon thing, and I would, I like, I went to Coupon Mom, I went to Southern Savers, but then it'll say, you know, you can print off the coupon. I'll look for items that I'll buy. It says, you know, click here to print off this coupon. But you had to put in your, your email address and everything to sign to that website. But it'll take you to another website that you have to, again, <coughs> give them your email, register with that website. Yeah. And then if you do that, then you have to download some software to be able to print off the coupon.